Let's have a look at the type of gates that can occur in a logic circuit and then hence at how we can draw a diagram for a specific logic circuit. And logic circuits consist of logic gates and a logic circuit is a two-state device where inputs to and outputs from the gates are either high voltages, coded 1, or low voltages, coded 0. The first type of gate we can use in a logic circuit is an OR gate, where the inputs PQ give an output FP or Q, written P plus Q. What does that mean? Well, it means that if either of the inputs are a high voltage, then the output will be a high voltage. And you can see here how we draw such a gate. The second type of logic gate is an AND gate, shown in the second picture here. And you'll see that if we have inputs PQ, the output resulting from an AND gate is written PQ. And the way this works is that if both of the inputs are high voltages, the output will also be a high voltage. But otherwise, if one or both of the outputs are low voltages, the output will be a low voltage. And the third type of gate in a basic logic circuit is a NOT gate, shown like this third diagram, where the output is written P bar. And that means that if the input P was a high voltage, the output will be a low voltage. And if the input was a low voltage, the output will be a high voltage. And logic circuits usually have several of these gates in them, so let's have a look at an example of drawing a logic circuit. In particular, let's look at drawing a logic circuit here, P bar QR plus RS bar. So we can start off by drawing in P, Q, R, S. Now, the first part of this expression, P bar, that means that that voltage will go through a NOT gate, which we know is this one here, because of the bar. And because it is P bar QR, these three, P bar Q and R, then all go through an AND gate. So these ones here will all be joined with an AND gate, which we saw had this general appearance. Now the next part of our circuit is then R and S and that whole expression then has a bar over it. So that means the first part of this is going to just be R and S. So those inputs will be again joined with an AND gate. But because there is then a bar over the whole expression, that whole expression then has a NOT gate. So that if the output here was a high voltage for instance, that NOT gate or inverter would then turn it into a low voltage and vice versa. Now the final part of this, we have our P bar QR, we've got our RS bar, but these were then joined with a plus, which means with an OR gate. So finally we need to connect these up into an OR gate, which you might recall has this general appearance. And then this will be our final output here of that circuit. So this then is an example of how we can draw a logic circuit to represent a given situation.